Hello, this is the Mojo Lobo here. I hope you guys are doing well today. For today's video, a fellow Yoshi has sent me their replays, and I'm going to analyze exactly what he or she has done in game, give some pointers, some advice, control their characters, may even to test and see exactly what they could have done in said situation. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so we got a Yoshi and a Lars now. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, you went for up back four. He was attempting to see whether or not if the Lars was going to try to attempt to attack you and or to either create some space. But the Lars here is doing his orbital and he whips. So now you have a lot of time to either go for a launch here. Okay, you went for back 2 2. So since he whipped that, you see right there, you could have just launched. But back 2 2 is also fine because now you have the advantage. But you go for one, two, one. I wonder why. I mean, I could assume that maybe you went for it was to see whether or not if the opponent was to press any buttons. If they did, you see right there? I control the Lars and I attack the Yoshi. If I end up blocking the first two hits, but I end up trying to attack the Yoshi on the third hit, that would be a launch right there for the Yoshi player. But in my opinion, I would have just gone for the Poison Breath or Samurai Cutter once I go for the Heat Engager. Because a lot of, of opponents around this rank, they don't end up stepping or ducking the Poison Breath. Or either attempt to try to attack you to interrupt you if you're going for the Samurai Cutter. See? Okay, he stepped, but he went for down back four. Okay, he goes for 4, 4, 3 plus 4, and you went for Flash. It's somewhat smart, because if the Lars attempts to go for a dick jab, then he would have probably gotten hit by the Flash, and he would have gotten launched. But he instead respects it, and decides to pivot back with the Korean backdash. Ah, see here, he ends up going for his homing move. If he does this right here, and he attempts to go for his stance, you can actually flash him. So whenever you see the leg, his sexy ass legs come out like this, you can attempt to go for a flash. Because once he attempts to go for his stances, he's completely vulnerable to getting flashed. But instead you went for back fours. So you got caught by the homie move. He goes for down back one into three. I think it's three. Yeah, it's three. And you went for flash. Now the issue with this, is that once he does this move, goes into a stance, this stance in particular, when he starts to spin and then lowers down his uh, body to crouching position, flash won't work. Because he, if he goes for the launch, it will just completely whiff. So this is not really a good choice. I would just either went for something like, let's say, down forward one or down forward four. See, you can just stop him like that. Okay, it, once he does this again, you can't do anything. You gotta respect him, because he just forces you. He's, pl he's plus five when he's doing this, when he hits you with the homie move. So it's best here to either test him out and see what he'll do next, and he hits you with the move. So it would be best to just block it. Here, from what I'm seeing, you're spamming forward one, and then you're spamming forward one plus two, and then you're trying to go for up forward two, then you're trying to go for up <laughs> forward one plus two to grab him. It's not going to work. When you're in this situation, you cannot press any buttons. He's plus five. And you got hit here, so you got killed. Round two. Fight. Okay, you attempt to do the same thing. And again, happens where he goes for sidestep two. He ends up whiffing. Uh, I would say your only choice here is to go for one one or two two. But instead, you both decide to go for your, your back dashes. Hmm, trying to bait him out. He goes for 4, 4, 3 plus 4 again. And you attempt to flash. If he already backed away when you did that same thing, when he go, when he went for his 4, 4, 3 plus 4, attempting to use the flash again isn't going to work. Because, he again, he's respecting you. He's too close to you. So since he's too close to you from his 4, 4, 3 plus 4, he's going to assume 
that you're gonna be going for your flash. So what you should have done instead is either one, okay, you get hit, he respects it, and see, he, he goes for a high. Well, the computer went for a high. It wasn't really him controlling it. But let's just assume that he ended up going for a high. Well, you see there, I went for the Samurai Cutter. Now, Samurai Cutter, while you're in your no-sword stance, is not an unblockable, but he still has to block low. So, since he hits you with the move, and he's already assuming you're going to go for the Flash, I would have at least assumed that. I would have went for the Samurai Cutter. Or, if I wanted to be safe, I would have just went for a wall standing 4 or a wall standing 1. Chances are, I would have just went for the 4 to be safe. And then, from here, you just went for Flash. So, you're way too open. He goes for his, I'm not sure, it says here he's went for 2-1, and goes for the low. And you went for your back 3, so you ended up getting away from the attack. Nice, 3-1. And go for 4-1 plus 2, nice, a 4-2. And you went for the wall standing 3-2 setup. He ends up pressing buttons on the second hit, now you launched him. Okay, nice, so this is good. Okay, he said he stayed grounded, so now you have the, ch the chance to then go for another 4 or 1 plus 2 there. Okay, now you just got greedy. Okay, you're forcing it too much right now. Yeah, yeah, you need to be more patient. Allow him to get close enough to you and see what he'll do instead of just having to force out the interaction there. He goes for back 1 plus 2. He goes for down forward 1, catches you trying to spin out. Nice, you caught him there. Smart. I mean, you could have actually won for the launch, but it's still fine. Because if you did do this here, see, now you have even more damage dealt to the guy. But you still got him. Okay, you ended it with a up forward too, since he's not blocking low. Nice, this time you decide to go for a down back 3 to catch him. And he goes for the somersault into the command grab. Now, in this situation, you have two choices. If he does this, you can decide to do one, just stay crouching. You do that, and he completely whips the move. That's it. That is if he is going for the command grab. If he goes for the kick, you're going to get hit. But if you do end up getting command grab, and you know that he's going to be going for the command grab, then you can press 1 plus 2 to break it. As you see there, I had to do it multiple times because I had to do the timing. And by simply pressing 1 plus 2, you can break the command grab. Okay, he goes for his down 4. All right, that's, that's still good. Going for back to two would have probably hit him if he pressed any buttons. Okay, you're both backpedaling. I'm seeing that you're not Korean backdashing. So from my perspective, I feel like you should work on trying to learn how to do Korean backdashing. There's tons of videos out there that showcase how to properly Korean backdash with any character really. But the reason why I state that it's good that you should learn that particular type of technique is that Korean backdashing has a lot of implications that allow you to create distance quicklier than doing a regular backdash. And two, it even covers some grounds from either evading some highs and evading some attacks in general since it's a backstab. So learning how to do Korean backdashing would definitely help you out in matches. But right now, since you're only really doing regular backsteps, it's not a bad thing. It's still going to carry you over even at higher levels. You don't have to like learn it, but I advise as a Yoshimitsu player, to at least try and learn it. Okay, smart. You went for poison breath. Okay, what you did right here? Let's see. Okay, you went for poison breath, and I'm seeing that you're spamming back to, uh, down to two against the Lars. I'm going to assume the reason why you did so was because you thought the Lars was going to get hit by the poison breath. Okay, now you end up using your flash here, smart, but then you end up whiffing your attempt to attack him but what's worse is that you went for 3-2 and not 3-1 so if you was gonna go for the 3-3 three, three route you should have went for 3-1 so here you flashed you got him to get hit by the move but instead of going for let's see yeah you even waited too long to attack 
and you're even spamming one plus four sorry uh two plus uh three to go for the heat burst so i'm not too sure what was your attempt there you was probably spamming i think you was probably very stressed out he wasn't even sure if it would even hit but if you're going for your moves your best option is to do three one which i failed here to do or down two two if you get the hit off and then you just go do it a little closer Something like that. Okay, so you're still attempting to go for the no sword stance into up back one plus two to have some form of neutral. But then he decides to go into whatever this move is, which is his back three plus four, I guess. No, this is four three plus four. Whatever that move is that he's using, the Lars, he caught you good. And you're trying to spam back two two to hit him. In this scenario, since you went for your up back one plus two, and he's it from that distance, you're minus 12. But in reality, you're minus eight if you were closer, so you're safe, but you lost your turn. So attacking in this situation is not a good idea because now he can then hit you out with his move. Okay. Okay, you're, you're, you're doing too much of the no sword sense. I think that's one thing you need to work on, trying to be more patient and not go into no sword sense too often. Okay, 3-1, nice. Okay, you went for a forward one, that's still fine. But if he could have actually hit you out of it. I don't know the combos for Lars, but he could have hit you out of it with just a one. But since he's unsure what you're gonna be doing in the heat engager state, uh, I guess up forward one is fine. Just that I would have just went for the unblockables instead. Okay. Nice, okay. Nice, down 4 2. Nice. Okay, why did you not go for down 1? I guess you wasn't sure whether or not that you can do that. When you do Kencho into 1 plus 2 and it lands, using down 1 is a guarantee hit off, off of that. So, right here, see, right there, down 1. It's guaranteed. They can't do anything against you. They can't go for a recovery kick, a spring kick, quick recovery. They can't do anything. Okay. Ah, uh, he goes for his homing move against you. He does it again. Oh, he interrupts you now. Okay, smart. And you went for forward too. Why? I... I don't know why would you, I, even going for 4, 1 plus 2 would have been better than doing forward 2 here. I think you thought that that move would tornado, because if not, then your best bet is to go for 2, 4. And that's it, you got the win right there. Now you went for 4, 1 plus 2 there. Okay, so he goes for the entry into the down hit. And you caught him, okay, you caught him. The match would have been over if you just decided to do what you just did before, what I announced. Nice, 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 nice. Back three. Down one. Ah, I, I would have went for down one. Oh, you got caught. Nice step. We see that again. It's a nice step here. If what maybe doing a step into one would have been best. See, that would have caught the Lars. Oh, he did his own version of backpedaling with his orbital. Like caught you here. Nice, you caught him. Nice. Uh, he goes for his heat burst. I would have just went for the unblockable right there. The sword sweep. And you went for your heat smash. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, this is the second match. Okay, Gus goes for up back four again against you. 
at the start of the match even. I just noticed something too that the guy that you're fighting against is from South Korea. I, I didn't check to see whether or not if you were in the same region or if you're from North America. I might have to check later on in the end of the, the match to see. Okay, good. Okay, he hits you somehow, but somehow you didn't get hit. Yeah, I'm going to assume there's a lot of rollbacking happening in this game. But a good, good try on catching him with the up forward one plus two. But he didn't, he didn't beat you there. You're minus twelve here. He could have actually used his ten frame jab or a twelve frame string if he has a twelve frame string. But instead, opts to go for down back four. Nice blocks. Okay, nice. I wonder. No, you can't. I try to see whether or not if you can flash, and you can't. Ah, uh, yes. You could have just moved forward just a little bit. See, right there you caught him. If you end up like at least moving forward a little bit, you would have caught him with a 3-1. Okay. Nice combo from the Lars. Oh, you could have launched, but okay, you tried doing it here, but you're still too late. Nice, you tried to at least use some neutral game here with down forward 1, but then you went for the 4. And you went for 4 here? Oh, you, I think you... T wait, no, no, no. You actually went for four. You ended up then changing your mind to go for back four to then spin out of the way. Round two. Fight. Okay, nice. Yeah, you need to move forward. Just a little bit forward. If you're going to spin out and you want to attack, at least try to move in a little bit if you're going to be using moves like this because a lot of the times they'll just whiff okay this time he knew he's going to go for the forward one plus two this is the thing that i mentioned a lot when it comes to the analysis that i see a lot that players tend to do the same thing over and over again you need to be a little bit more random if you are doing the same thing over and over again they're going to adapt okay he tried to command grab you but he wasn't close enough they did it again. You have a lot of opportunities here to actually uh, slam him. Like right here. Just launch him. Use it again. You could have launched right here. Okay, he launched too, but then he failed to do his combo. Nice. Down back threes. And again, you didn't launch him, but at least you went for it up forward too. You caught him. And he pressed buttons on this, so now you caught him again. Smart. Uh, a little too greedy. If you just delayed it maybe slightly, he maybe would have pressed buttons so he can get launched. Oh my god. W did you do that on purpose? Do you do that on purpose? I don't think you did that on purpose. I think you spammed it. No, you didn't even spam it. You only did like three times. The frick, bro? This is smart. You went for Kensho into your flash. Smart boy. But you still didn't move forward to go for your down 2-2. Two, two. Again, I'm going to assume here that is very laggy. Then I can see why you're having trouble doing your combos. Okay, didn't break your 1 plus 2 break. Our uh, command grab, I mean. And he ends up going for that. Alright, good choices from you now. Okay, he's doing that too often. And you're still getting caught by his. This is a setup, by, by the way. Lars would do this, and once they end up doing the, you know, the backflip kick, removes a lot of distance. I mean, it, you, he covers a lot of distance away from you. So that way, if you attempt to attack him, he can just launch you with his forward one plus two. Nice combo. I think that move is a high at the end. Yeah, it's so high. You could have launched him. Hmm. Okay. 
Nice grab. Nice 4 1 plus 2. And you went for it again, the command grab. Smart. Uh, nope. I would have just done the 2 2. It's fine. It's cool, cool uh, interaction there. But I would have just went for the 2 2 and not go for uh, Kensho and just go for the 3 2 into 1 plus 2. Yep, you still, you still got him. Oh, nice. Man, you're playing a lot of, a lot different now. Ah, shit. Okay. You got greedy here. You went for the one. You didn't anticipate whether or not he's going to go for a low. Nice bait. Okay, so he waited for your entire string. Goes for wall standing four. Goes for back one plus two, catches you off guard. What do you use here? Yeah, you're being too impatient. You're you're trying to steal your turn from him. Okay, nice. See? See what this is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. You're using your up forward two too often, and they're going to adapt. Now he adapted. Okay, I really think the Lars is going to either use his heat burst now. So if you're if you know what's gonna happen next, this is where you need to be grabbing him. Yep, I knew it. <laughs> I freaking knew it that he was gonna Oh, I pressed the wrong button. My freaking fault. So yeah, again, like I said, like I stated, I know for a a hundred percent fact that this guy is gonna go for the heat burst. Here is your chance to go for a command grab or a regular grab. But instead, you went for the flash. And then you went for, what was it, back four, which worked. But you were very bold, my friend, because you have little health left. You could have killed yourself in this situation. Smart, but he was faster than you. Okay, again... <laughs> this setup, bro. You need to move forward just a little bit, just a little bit, and you can catch the Lars off the guard. Like same, same scenario too here. You could have just ducked it. Which I, 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 I now I'm sounding like I'm patronizing you, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, I don't know if you know the string. If you don't know the string, it's fine. But now that you know that that string, the kick into the high kick, can be ducked. Mm, good choices. Uh, yeah, you you have a little bit of uh, heat left, so it might as well just expand it with the heat uh, smash. Mm, to to be honest, I can't tell you what you should have done here because I would have also. Just went for the 3 plus 4 command grab, and since he already ducked, I would have gone hit. So, the choice that she made here was smart, and he went and stood back up, so now he got caught with a move. Good choice. Hmm. Nice break. And he, I guess this guy doesn't know how to break his own, uh, doesn't even know how to break command grabs. Hmm. I mean, he's not hitting you. The, again, don't don't abuse the forward one plus two because it's, un it's unsafe on block. It's minus twelve, but he doesn't know that, so that's why you can abuse it. So in a way, I would say, if you get if you got hit when using forward one plus two in this situation or any other situation where they now start to adapt, stop using it. But since he's not really hitting you off of that move, then yeah, I guess continue using it. Nice. Oh my. You could have killed. You could have killed. If you do this, and since he is always assuming you're gonna be going for the uh, the four one plus two, just go for the one or or four. Oh, this time he just didn't do it. All right, let's what one more time. Go for the one. It's a little another mid. Oh, he also blocked it. Then I guess your only real best choice is to go for the three there there you go you would have actually ended the fight right there uh one or the four 
could have killed him still, but I guess it was too slow, so he immediately imagined that you was gonna go for the 4 1 plus 2, but he still blocked it anyways, since it's safe. But yeah, going for the 3 would be your best option here. Mmm, you went for a 4 2 again, didn't you? In fact, that time could have been your best chance to use a flash, I think. Hmm, right here. Right here, you could have used a flash. Or you could have used a up forward three. Because if you do so, let's see if it works. Yep, it works. Uh, up forward three has a weird interaction where not only does it low crush, but it also high crushes. So you could have just went for up forward three if he was going to go for a jab, if you anticipated that, that is. Okay, and he decides to go for... Smart, smart. Now he ends up ducking the move because he's, he's anticipating the, the 4 1 plus 2, so you caught him off guard there. So smart plays. You play better in this match than you did on the first match. I'm not too sure whether or not if it was already laggy for you because, again, I... Let me actually return back to the re replay list. Okay, you're from... Asia, okay, and he's from South Korea, okay, this makes more sense. I can't really tell how the difference between Asia 3 and South Korea, how far you guys are exactly. But I'm going to assume that, yeah, you guys are very far. So that's why I'm assuming that the game was probably really laggy. But you could tell me either way if it's not. And it's just that, again, you wasn't really sure what the Lodge was going to do. But at least now you know that... For one, you need to work on trying to be more unpredictable and don't be too predictable because you're using the same setups again and again and again against the Lars. He's going to adapt soon. The other thing also is that you're not really using or abusing his unblockables often because with just that alone, you can easily get to around uh, Bussin, as they call it now, but or Bushin to that rank and also using the guard break setup as well so it's a pretty good two to use against uh, this guy this guy would have probably gotten hit by the setup multiple times over or at least you would have at least gotten some damage across if he stays grounded so that's the one thing i will say just work on being a little bit less predictable in the game i think you're fine with other things work on your combos as well work on your uh, mix up game as well because you're not really using your other tools you're, you're just really using let's say some highs and some mids and attempting to use the up forward two try to use your full crush down forward four often try to use your down back four as well or even your down back three you, you use it a bit here in the game in in one of your sets but use it more often because they all then have to then respect you if you will go for your lows often in the game you also have your um down back one two another good option you can use against them as a low to try to force them to then respect you and that way you can then mix them up with uh, your mids or your launchers, your mid launchers against the Lars. So I think that you're do doing okay, just that you're being a bit too predictable in the fight and you're not really utilizing all of your other strings or all your other moves. And don't use your, your no source hands up back one plus two too often and don't get too greedy either when using it because they're likely gonna step you. The Lars wasn't stepping you, but he was managing to beat you because you were being a bit too greedy and trying to force your turn when it's not your turn yet so i would also say the last thing that you should learn and that's the one thing that i think that anybody who is hoping to get higher than fujin is learn frame data learn your character's frame data so that way you don't make mistakes in the fight at least not too often at least because i still make mistakes a whole bunch of times i'm not i can't really say anything but if you're trying to get to a higher rank and you want to at least learn a couple of things from me, just do one of those things I just mentioned and you'll at least improve heavily in the game. So if you guys like what you watched, I know that I ramble too often in my videos, but if you like the video, please give it a like, share it around to your friends or family or anybody else that likes Tekken and subscribe to see more of my shit and stay tuned for more.